Hey, Ben Price here. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at the card warp trick that we looked at at the live lesson. Um, if you were part of the live lesson, great. If you weren't, that's okay, because we're gonna cover all of the, uh, the moves and the setup involved in performing the card warp here. Um, if you were part of it, great. You have that base knowledge. You can come to this video and, and learn it a little more in depth um, and look at the moves a little closer um, if you were having any trouble when we did it live. Um, the card warps an impromptu um, effect. It's a good beginner trick, um, but it's also something that if you wanted to, if you're uh, interested in performing, um, you can incorporate it into uh, a, a small or a large card routine. Uh, depends on, on what you're into. Um, but we're gonna go back, we'll look at the trick, and then we'll come here and uh, look at all the moves and the setup involved in performing it. Okay, so we've seen the trick. Um, now there is a bit of preparation we have to go through before we can jump into the trick. Um, the preparation is pretty simple. We're gonna make what we call a gaff card. Um, so it's just a prop that it's not quite what it appears to be. Um, so we're gonna take one card. Now I like to use a face card as the card that's gonna change um, from inside and outside just because the face card has a lot going on. So it's a, a visual, a good visual contrast between the, the front and the back of the card. You can really tell that it's switched inside and out. Um, so to prepare it, um, you're just gonna put your thumb, your two thumbs right on the center of the card um, on the long edge. And you're gonna tear, um, and you're gonna tear upwards. So if, you, if you're, uh, right-handed, which I am, so we'll, we'll teach um, all of these tricks right-handed. Um, if you're right-handed, you're gonna tear upwards, and I'll show you why after we've done that. Um, and you're gonna try to keep it as straight as you can, all the way in towards the center of the card. And if you, if you have uh, bicycle cards, you can see on the back of the card, it's quite easy to um, tell the center because there's that little dot just there. So and you can tear right to the center of that dot. So we've torn upwards from the right, if you're right-handed. Um, now we tear upwards because it, the card, it, the car, cards are built in layers. So there's um, a back, a middle, and the front, and they all sit nicely. Once, the, once they've been torn, they'll all sit quite nicely down, but the opposite way, they won't. Uh, it'll be hard to see uh, on camera, but Trust me, this is the best way to do it. Um, once that's happened, then we're gonna put them in our deck and it's just gonna be in an order that we can remember, but you're gonna want your gaff card, the, the torn card, to be the second card that we pull out. So um, let's put it just somewhere in there like so. And then this card can go just, just a bit further above it. So we gotta remember five o'clock, really the first card doesn't matter, as long as it's a contrasting color. Um, and then our Jack of Diamonds. So five of club, Jack of Diamonds. Once that's ready, down on the table and you're ready to go. So the setup's all ready. What you're gonna do to perform this is pick up your cards and we want to make sure we know that our five and our Jack are in there, uh, rip towards your fingertips. So you spread through, you find your five of clubs, you out jog that. Out jogging is 
once you've spread and you've reached the card that you want to out jog, just grab hold of this packet here, push that card forward, make sure it stays and bring the rest of the cards back in line with the rest of the deck. Continue on and there's our Jack of Diamonds, out jog that same thing and bring them together. It's obviously not as exaggerated so you won't see that, that cut, that rip and then Jack of Diamonds like so. Now we push the whole deck together and we have our two cards out jogged of the deck. Um, now they're going to pivot around your uh, ring finger or your middle finger rather just spinning those out of the deck like so. Okay and put the rest of the deck aside. Now you can show these pretty freely obviously your fingers covering that the, the cut there and the first thing you want to do is fold your uh, gaff card in half like that. And then you put it on the table, rip side towards you and, and down. Uh, ideally, you'd have a spectator cut this or fold this card. So they would do this. And as they were folding that card, it gives you all the time in the world to pick this card up and do the secret move. So they're still folding that card. You pick this card up with your right hand and with your left hand thumb, open that fold, okay? So pick it up, left hand thumb, open that fold. And then it stays in your left hand. And from the front, that looks just like a folded card, but from the back, obviously it's open, okay? So once more, that's folded while they're folding that. Pick this up and open it. Then you take your card back from them, put it behind that card, covering up this whole thing. Okay, cover that up. And as you do that, just flip the card forward, hold it down in front of you so they can see all of this and then fold. And as you fold it, that's just folding the rest of that card back on itself. And now you're ready to do the trick. So you can push it in and out as much as you want. You can, you can go slow, you can go fast, you can use the table, okay? Lots of different ways you can do that. Once you're ready, put it in the center and tear. And what you're doing is tearing just that one piece of card, okay? Down the center there, all the way through. Drop those on the table without touching them. So there's one out, one in. Pick those up and then you can show, of course, that they do make a perfect match. So if you've gone through the whole trick, um, or the lesson rather, and you, and you don't like having to fumble through the deck and out jog the cards to get your two cards you're gonna use, um, if you're not great at handling cards, that can be a bit difficult. So you can just have pre-folded cards both ways, like so. Uh, both cards. And then this one obviously has that rip in it. Um, and what you can do is just have these on their own. Uh, fold that up and then as you're inserting so you don't have to do that that move um, from behind it looks you just insert like that and let that flow down like so and then unfold that card around so it's a bit more um, it's not as good but it still does the trick and then you're, you're ready to go into that. So that looks from uh, the exposed view. You can also start this card, um, fold it inwards, but that's open like so. You slide in and then open that up. So you're doing the same thing as you were before and it's ready to go. And then everything's the same from there to torn. So, 
Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you'd like, head on over to my Facebook and Instagram. Give me a follow there because we'll be doing uh, live lessons every Tuesday and Friday, 6 o'clock. And then the, this video, um, a more in-depth explanation will be posted um, after those videos air. But if you'd like to follow along on the live lesson, go over there and give me a follow. Um, yeah, and, and don't, um, I'll show you here. Um, just because you might be um, new at it doesn't mean, you know, you're not going to be good right away. This is just from filming just one today, so um, lots of destroyed cards will happen with this one, um, but you'll get better at it. If you'd like, um, post a, a performance of your uh, new trick and tag me in it. I'll, uh, I'll watch them. I like to see that. I have nothing else going on right now, so post, post your uh, performances. Give me a follow. And um, yeah, we'll do another one soon.